Questions for Gavin Gerhardt. Coach Satterfield said it was a solid day for you guys up front. What would be your diagnosis of how that group played? Obviously, Corey Kiner had a great game yeah. running the ball. I think we played really physical. Um, we knew coming into week this week that Pitt was going to be really physical. Um, they were going to try and bully ball, um, and I think we prepared really well for that um, and took that to heart and uh, had a good outcome. How many Miami guys do you know? A lot of you guys play together in high school here and there, but uh, do you know any of them? I do not personally know any of them. Um, obviously, the first two years we knew, I knew Ivan a little bit, but other than that, I don't really know. I don't know anybody. How about the the Victor Bell rivalry? Uh, you, obviously, no one's lost since two thousand five, but yeah. is, is it still fun to bring that sucker? Yeah, yeah. To have uh, something you work for um, in the game like that, a trophy, um, that's always exciting. Um, and since I've been here, you know, when it, we've been able to keep it here, um, and hopefully to keep that keep that going this Saturday. Looking at the looking at the way Corey's played in the past two weeks, what does that say about you guys as a group? When looking back, coming into the season, offensive line was maybe a question mark. Um, probably that we gelled together really well. I think we're still gelling together to this day. Um, and every game, game by game, I think we'll continue to, to get closer. Um, he's a really good running back. We got a, a, a lot of good running backs in that room. Um, and I love, love blocking for all of them. Obviously, Braden Smith had that trick play with the pass yeah. to D. Wiggins. When that play gets called in the huddle, is there any kind of like weird feeling you get? Like, oh gosh, what's about to happen? Because I heard that you repped it in practice yeah. and weren't able to hit on it. Well, um, we kind of, we run a play away from that. We kind of run opposite of that to kind of draw the defense to that side of the field. So we're, we don't have much to do with that. It's just, honestly, I don't even, I didn't even know he was, he was throwing the ball at that point. I was just, we were all just trying to run off the ball um, and, and dent the defense. Just talk about this offensive line. Obviously, you talk about how you guys are still gelling together. Just talk about how you're really embracing that leadership role with these uh, newer guys up front there on the offensive line. You know, last year I, w I was the young guy, so stepping into that is a little different. Um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm trying to be as vocal as I can be for those guys. You know, we got Trev, um, who's a captain at Penn, um, really vocal guy. We got Dion from Kentucky, more of a soft spoken guy, but he's getting there. Um, really proud of how he's progressed since he's been here. Um, and then we got Kandra, who's a big physical guy, um, unbelievable player. Um, he'll continue to do great things for us. Um, Johnny, he's doing, he's, he's made high, high jumps from where he was um, in the past. Um, he's doing awesome. And, and DT's, man, DT's just a man. That's just all I got to say about him. But he's, he's, he's doing their thing. They're all doing their thing. I'm really, really proud of them. Ryan and Justin. Going on the road and winning at Pitt, um, how can you guys build on that with your confidence inside the locker room with, you know, the Big 12 schedule coming up later this week? Like I said, I knew we, we all knew it was going to be a physical game. Um, and I think all the, all the Big 12 games are going to be real physical. Um, so just, you know, just being as physical as we can be as an offensive line um, and, and denting the defense, getting movement off the ball, uh, it's all about that. From a scheme perspective, what's the biggest difference in the zone blocking scheme that you guys are running to maybe what you've done in the past? Just getting out running, um, running, you know, to the, like to the, towards the sidelines a little bit, you know, um, just being as fast as we can off the ball, trying to dent the defense as long as, as well as um, running, you know, sideways and, and trying to, to work vertical up to the linebackers. So it's a little different that way. Dan. Did you say that DT was the man? Yeah, he, he's a man. Uh, I'm really happy for him. You know, he's, he, I'm so proud of him. He, uh, he's continuing to make big jumps. Um, I knew that. Once he got his shot, he was going to run away with it. Um, I wish he would have got you know a couple more opportunities last year, um, but now that he's in that role, I don't, I don't see him taking any steps backwards at all. Can you describe his growth from going to such a tiny school, yeah. 500 students in the entire school, to where he is now starting on the line for a Big 12 team? You know, when he got here, um, I didn't even know. I knew where he came from, but I didn't know how many students were there. I didn't know that it was a, such a small school. Um, and when he got here, you couldn't even tell. I mean, he's just that—he's just that type of guy. He's had—he has a high, he has, you know, he's awesome to be around. He's—he's he's big dude. He—he he lifts weight. I lift with him all the time. I uh, just got done lifting with him today, um, and he's—he's he's just awesome to be around. Keegan Scott, Emory Jones said after the pit game that Coach Satterfield's aggressive play calling really inspires him to 
play as well as he can. Yeah. How does that inspire the group up front? Does that help you guys, give you guys confidence at all when you know you're doing such aggressive play calls like the fourth and ones? Yeah, it gives us a lot of confidence, you know, that he believes in us. Um, ran a QB sneak earlier, yeah, the, the fourth and is half a yard or so on a backed up. Um, and we're all out there yelling at him, you know, sniper, 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 which is a way, a way of us, you know, QB sneaking. And, um, you know, we, he, he believes in us, and that, that gives us a lot of confidence. For the new guys that haven't experienced it yet, how do you describe a, a, a night game at Liberty? Oh, it's awesome. I'm so excited for that. Uh, it's going to be rocking like it always has been since I've been here for a nip at night. Um, and it's going to be really fun. Anything else? Right, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it, guys.